On today's show, we are talking about the best covers, the best panels, and the best comic books in the month of June. Okay, we are back in one of my favorite segments. Oh, yes. And tell you something I like about this segment is that by the ads... No, you can take a guess. We, it's so Marvel so often. That's true. You have four books, which concerns me, but we'll get to that when it comes to it. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> they, were, they, no, they were just sitting on the side. Oh. Sorry. No, it's, it's okay. not supposed to be four. I know. Which okay. One it's fine. Fair enough, then. Yep. So <laughs> the first thing we are going to, as always, we don't know. No, nope, don't, don't know what you got picked. One. You don't, don't know what I one. picked. We're going to talk about the best cover first. We are going to talk about the best cover. What have you got the um, best cover? First of all, can I say yes. an honorary mention to last month, FF number seven? Because I didn't get it until this month. I thought it came out this month, and it didn't came out last month, and it was outstanding. It's lovely. This, uh, this month's FF cover is nothing to be scoffed at either. No, definitely not. But that last one was, that was special. Um, okay, so this month's cover is a book that's been featured on here many a time. Not been featured in a while. Uh, Thor. Hey Number, what is it, nine? Okay, I can't believe this book's up to only issue nine. It's been so outstanding. And this cover with the three Thors finally coming together was just absolutely fantastic. Or 12. What? <laughs> what? Carry on. <laughs> did you, did it. you, oh, you two got it. It's three, just me. Three, four is finally coming together. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, it's a match. <laughs> don't joke. worry about it. Mass jokes. jokes. Um, yeah, Esther Ribic's been absolutely. He's, he's sad. I always have to um, It's been six months since you've got that wrong. Cough, have you a blue pink cough again? Uh, <laughs> uh, he's, he's done an absolutely fantastic job with these covers, and this is, I would say, his best to date. So that is my. Cover of the month. What is yours, good sir? My cover of the month I don't have with me because I'm buying it in trade. And the reason it was stuck out in my head as cover of the month is because I saw it in the shop and I was like, oh, I hate that I'm not picking this up. <laughs> what was the noise? Oh. <laughs> One um, more time. Oh. And all together? Oh. <laughs> good. Uh, X Men number two. Like, I've made no secret about how much I love you. just have no idea if it's a gates this. You just don't know. So oh, yeah, um, sure. You then will know because lovely Stephen will be putting it up on the screen right now. All right, um, sure. I love Jubilee and this cover, like, it just reminds me of why I love the X-Men. Yep. It just feels very Coronation Street. It feels... So, <laughs> you know, but you know what I mean? It feels like everyone's in everyone's business and it's kind yeah. of soapy and it's very Aye, cool. Aye, there, Logan. And, ah, not too bad, Jubilee. Not too bad. Just heading down to the cafe and get a big The thing is, no American. Sure, American yeah. viewers like, what? If, like, And if they Google it, it's just a minefield. Oh my God, Google it. Go <laughs> watch, Corey. Don't. That's supposedly what we from up north are like. Their soaps are much worse. Anyway, so... Uh, you know, the yellow, and it's just very colorful yeah. and pretty, and it's standout-ish, and it's one of those, and when you walk into the shop, that yeah, that's like, where your eye goes. That's Fair. exactly where your eye goes. So I just can't wait to read that whole book. I love the inside of the first one as well, so. Fair. That's my cover. Okay, favorite panel of the month. Uh, mine's is from Thor, again. Uh, this book was outstanding. It's not spoiler. Okay. It's not spoiler. I mean, it's pretty much reflective of the cover. Look at that. That's just outstanding. Double page spread. You finally get them all going into action together with the little caption on the top saying, then struck Thor with the fury of a billion, billion storms. Yeah. Like, just epic, epic. There's, Is it about Jason Aaron revolutionar revolutionizing these characters? Like, if you haven't read his Incredible Hulk run... It was incredible. It, is, <laughs> it was. <laughs> it's just one of those things where it's like... You've never seen this character this way before. He taps into things which you think, of course, mm. of course that character should have always been written like that. Yeah, definitely. And uh, Thor is no exception. Like, he's had an outstanding job on this book. And my God, this cover. Like, I mean, my God, this panel is just like, I, I made a ridiculous noise when I saw that of just like, okay. What was that Okay, noise? here we go. It's it's uh, it's definitely not one I can replicate again, because <laughs> uh, it was that weird. Uh, so yeah, that was my 
panel. What was yours? Mr. Well, Ball. I mean, my panel of the month, like, it could have literally been this whole book. Okay. It. I mean, we did an episode sort of six weeks into the show. We talked about Fraser Irving. Yes. And how much we love him. Yes. And him drawing X. Go back and have a look at our retrospect because <laughs> we need the views on that. <laughs> uh, it, to this date, it is our lowest viewed video. 96, was it on last Sunday? Yeah, it's like the only one that's never made 100. Anyway. When it hits 100, we'll do more. <laughs> Mate, you just like Fraser Irving drawing this book and drawing Cyclops specifically. Yeah. Is epic to the extent that it really could have been anything. And I mean, I'm, you flick him I'm one, still yeah. sort of torn between two. Just pick one. I'm going to pick. Okay. You can't um, have a draw. Okay. If I wasn't allowed to have the raid and Judge Dredd, you're not allowed I'm to gonna have. Pick, I'm going to pick this one, which is Cyclops unleashing. And the way he does it, because the whole thing is Cyclops doesn't have control of his powers, yeah. and the way he does it, and it's sort of like just absolutely everywhere. Damn. And it's just. Yeah. Like the the matted red color scheme and the power and the, the even the reaction yeah. shot afterwards of wow and just I mean but it could have been anything. There's it's a very double, chaotic there's a as double well. Double page spread in this book with an outline that I missed the first oh. time around and it's just it's a three part this this yeah. um, X Men in Hell thing and is he only doing the three issues? I think so. That's and, a shame. And then we get um, a Bacalo back on. That's not a bad thing. No, step, Any stretch. Step, you know, it went for Asia Irving's your backup artist. You, you're onto a good you're thing. Doing all right. Yeah. <coughs> okay, now it's time for the best comic of the month. This has been an odd month for me because I've read a lot of new stuff and I haven't read a lot of my classics. I, I haven't read this month's FF or Daredevil or Hawkeye. So it's it's been quite a tough one for me to pick. But there is one book that I read this month that was just so outstanding wow. and so just mind blowing and the fact that it's not even the culmination of everything is really testament to how good this book is. It was Thor. <laughs> it wins all of them this wow. month, unfortunately. Um, I, I genuinely, I thought about all the books I've read uh, in June, how many great books there were, but like this was just, it, they took it to another level, Ribic and Aaron. Um, and yeah, the fact this is only part two or part three of four is ridiculous that this book is that good. And I'd actually neglected it for a while. Like I hadn't read nine until the day that I read this. So it'd been a couple of months away from it and just, oh man, man, oh man, is for just consistently one of the best books out every month. Um, I mean, I, yeah, there's there's very little else I can say about it, except if you're not reading it, you're missing out on the best Marvel Now title going, in my opinion. I would debate that. Well. It's good, sir. Uh. Um, no, I mean, do you know what's really, really funny is that this book that I'm about to pick is my book of the month. I was so close to picking for best cover and best panel as well, because obviously yeah. if a book is your favorite book of the month, it's going to have those things. I don't like doing that, and I've avoided it most of the time, but... Man, this month was just... And my book of the month, I really, 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 really didn't want to pick Young Avengers again, but it's the best <laughs> book that Marvel now are putting out. Like, it is incredible. Like, for me, no other book innovates mm. like this book does. Yeah, that is a really cool cover. Oh, it? and just the insights, and they do something with the, like, previously thing, yeah, and <laughs> even they do something with the artist's names and stuff, like, yeah. it, they, and they just innovate all the time. Jamie McKelvey doesn't draw this book, and he is missed, but Kate Brown does a fantastic job of covering. Yep. Um, they introduce a villain in this book in a really brilliant, terrifying way, and he has, if you've read the previous Young Avengers, then he has you know, he's, he's reminiscent and tied to that era, but it's also completely new. He introduces two new characters, deftly. Some of the double page spreads and just some of the uses of art. There's a, um, there's, you know, he did, he used, uh, it's all about like kind of temp jobs and stuff. And the way he shows monotony mm. is fantastic. The way he shows speed is outstanding. Yeah. Like he just, this book, it just innovates on every level. And I, every week that I read it, I think, shit, I've never seen that before. And it just feels like they're trying so hard. It feels like they're really trying to push the boundaries. It's hilarious. The characters are deeply, deeply lovable. 
as I say, this is a villain artist, but she does a fantastic job. And I just literally couldn't love this book more. It is my just my favourite comic that I'm that I'm reading. It's stunning. I mean, I've I've got to say, like this month for DC has been a really good month. You know, they've had a lot of number ones, some hits and miss. You know, we've talked about two this week with Lafries and uh, Batman, Superman. You know, you had Adventures of Superman, Superman Unchained. They're putting out a whole bunch of number ones. They seem to be kind of getting something back, but. My God, did Marvel not kick their ass with the kind of relaunch stuff? Oh, like, they've been amazing. DC, I don't know what so happened So many with of DC. their books are so top tier. Yeah, and I, they just seem to do a great job of putting people together. You know, Gillan McKelvey, an obvious match because they've worked before, but putting someone like Bendis and Fraser Irving together, oh. Jason Aaron and Ribbick together, uh, you know, Mark Wade and Samney and Aja and it's just... Fraction. Uh, and Fraction and All Red. Fraction and, and All Red. They just, they find these great writers. And do you know what's amazing? And they put them on the right All books. of the New 52 feels the same. These Marvel Now books feel like indie books. Uh, they feel like independent books where they just get to play yeah. around with the medium I mean, and be yeah. fun and entertaining and switch things up. It's amazing. Yeah, no, it's 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 absolutely fantastic. <coughs> they're, they're really pushing the boat out at the moment with trying to find... I, I don't know if I want to say trying to find new talent, but they are trying to, like, but you know... But just letting loose. They want to let letting people... loose. Each book has its own stamp. Young Avengers doesn't look like Thor, which doesn't no. look like FF, which doesn't look like Daredevil. They're all their own Whereas things. over on DC, it's, it's like, creates, let's keep it all yeah, Jim Lee Let's keep it all Jim Lee, Tony Daniel. Just, Greg Capullo, they like, their, their best artists at the moment, uh, Jeff Lemire, who doesn't draw for them, uh, Greg Capullo, who, I mean, he nails every issue of Batman, but even that's in Burnham. Like, yeah, there's... once you leave Gotham City, it's a drab, drab place. <laughs> That's, yeah, no, very fair. Uh, okay, brilliant. Uh, so that was our favourite books of the month. We love seeing what your favourite books are, so please put them down in the comments below. Indeed, you can also let us know on Twitter. It is at Comic Book Show 1. But until then, we will see you next week. Oh, it's a math <laughs> Don't joke. worry about it, math jokes. jokes. <laughs>